All right, good morning, everyone. I hope y'all are off to a good start this week. We made it past Monday. Yay! So, um, I'm Brittany, and um, this morning we're going to really stretch out the front of our body and do some heart opening as well. If you've been sitting a lot, texting, typing, all of that, you might have the all of that. So, I know I do. So I need to stretch it out the other way, but then also when we stretch it out on backwards, doing um, back bends or heart openings, we also need to strengthen our core. So we're gonna focus on those areas, of course, modify if you would like to, I'll give you options. And then if you would like to take it up a notch, feel free to do that as well. So let's begin in Sukta Baddha Konasana. If you have a pillow or a block, Put that underneath your, right in between your ribs right there. If you don't have anything, don't worry about it. I'm going to use a pillow for it because it's just going to be a little bit more comfortable for me and my back right now. So for Sukta Baba Konasana, come onto your back and bring the soles of the feet to touch. Let the knees fall out wide. And with a pillow or block under your back, your upper back, that'll help your chest open just a little bit more. And then you can place your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. And let gravity, <laughs> let gravity begin to take over here. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel the chest expand towards the sky. Open the mouth and exhale. One more time, inhale through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. And exhale. And then slowly reach your arms long behind you over your head. And point the toes towards the other end of the mat, taking a full body stretch. And then exhale, roll over onto your right side. Remove your block or your pillow, whatever you're using as a prop. And then just pause here for a moment, relaxing your head down on your arm, you can bend the knees and place your top arm in front of your chest. Close the eyes and use this time to set your intention for your day. If yesterday did not go as planned, you didn't feel the best, think the best, you weren't as positive, maybe try to take it up a little bit more today. What was holding you back yesterday? Release anything that doesn't serve you. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel the ribs expand. And exhale. And then slowly press your way up. Cross your legs and let's come up to standing nice and slow. You get dizzy, just hang out here for a moment. Spread the feet nice and wide, a little bit wider than hips distant. And let's take a few kind of cat and cow and hand stretches standing here. So you can keep your feet hips distant, soft bend in the knees. Take your, interlace your fingers here, send your palms forward, straighten the elbows and then round the spine. Release the spine towards the back of the room, release the neck down. And then inhale, lift the hands up to the sky, press the palms up. Release the hands, open the chest, bend the elbows, and then drop the neck back. Nice and soft. And release the hands by your side. Bring your hands behind you, interlace the fingers, and bring the elbows to touch round the spine. 
So you're not pressing on your head, you're just relaxing your hand on the back of your head. Tuck the pelvis under here. And then inhale, send the elbows out, lift the chest, take your gaze up. Take inhale through the nose. Exhale, round the spine, bring elbows to touch. Inhale, lift the chest, open up. And then reach the hands up to the sky one last time. Release the fingers, roll the wrists all the way down and by your sides here. And come to the top of your mat. Let's go through a few half sun A's. I'm sorry if you hear my dog tap dancing around here. Toes touch, slight space between the heels. Come into da to, to Dasana right here first. Tuck the pelvis under navel towards the spine. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. And then send your chin back just a little bit, stacking your head on top of your spine a little bit more. And then inhale, reach the arms up high to the sky. Exhale, dive forward. Breathe out with the chest and then release the neck down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Tilt your heart space forward. Exhale, forward fold. Pause here for just a moment. Soft bend in the knees. Your hands can be on the ground, um, wrapped around your calves, wherever you want to go. Maybe move the head around just a little bit. Inhale, halfway lift again. Tilt your heart space forward. Then your weight into your feet, into your toes. Peering out over the top of your mat. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, rise all the way up to standing. Inhale. And exhale, hands in prayer. Close your eyes here. Come back to your intention. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide as you fold down over your bed. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palm, step the right foot back. Drop that knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, Anjani Asana, low lunge here. And tuck the hips under, square them off. And then cactus the arms, bend the elbows, drop the neck back. And slowly release the hands to the mat. And then plant the hands on the mat on the outside of your front foot. Tuck the back toes and lift up to a lunge here. Your belly might be on top of your front thigh or to the side, but lengthen out long. And then slowly root down into those feet and rise up for a crescent lunge. And those hips forward. Feel a stretch more in that front thigh, your psoas here. And then straighten the back leg. Reach over the front knee, reach forward. And then slowly fold. I like to bend my front knee again and step that back foot in. So we're coming into pyramid pose here. Your back foot is like a kickstand here. Your heels can be in line with each other and just release the neck down. Square the hips off. And then interlace hands behind you, reaching your arms long, and then slowly with the soft knee, Rise all the way up, back to standing. Release the hands, bring them to your hips, bend that back heel up, and step up to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step both legs back, coming into tabletop position. And then exhale, send the hips forward, squeeze the elbows in, lower all the way down to your mat. Untuck the feet, come onto the tops of your feet, spread them out wide. And then bring fingertips out wide, bend the elbows. And inhale, press into the ground as you lift the chest up. Expanding your heart out forward. Exhale, full. Inhale, wave up. Exhale, down. Inhale, feel as though you're away, just slowly lifting up, release the neck. Exhale, down one more time. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, down. Place the palms next to you. Bring feet hips distance apart. Tuck the toes under. Lift up through the tabletop. Send the hips back. And then you're going to step up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full. Inhale, rise all the way up to steaming. And then exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. This time, drop the knees down. And rise up for Anjani Asana, low lunge. The hips melt down here. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. And then cactus the arms, bend the elbows, release the neck back. And then slowly lower the hands towards the ground. Tuck the back toes and lift that back knee up and pause here in a low lunge. And energetically draw that front foot towards the back foot to help fire up the legs here. And then root down into those feet, slowly rise up for a crescent lunge. Tuck that back leg in just a little bit, send the hips forward, navel towards spine. And then straighten the front knee, reach forward and slowly release the hands down. And step that back foot in just a little bit. Keep standing into pyramid pose. Release the neck down. Front knee is soft. Hips are square. And then bring hands behind you, clasp them, bring the other finger on top, but cross them the other way, send the hands towards the back, slowly rise up to standing, and bring your hands to your hips, bend that back heel up, and step to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up high, exhale, dive it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to tabletop position. You can also come up to plank if you'd like, but I'm going to stay right here. Send the hips forward towards the mat. Squeeze the elbows in. Chaturanga all the way down. And inhale into baby cobra. Elbows are in towards your sides. Shoulders are back. Exhale, fold. This time, let's press up all the way to upward facing dog. Inhale, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Send some weight back there. Engage the core. Exhale, drop the knee and send the hips up for your first downward facing dog. Hips are, feet are hips distance apart. Draw the shoulders down your back. Move your head around. Pedal the feet out, bend one knee, bend the other. And 
And then let's drop the knees down, coming into tabletop position here. And step the left foot back. Send the heel towards the back of the room. And bring that one in. Step the right foot back. Send that heel towards the back of the room. And then send all of your weight into that back heel. We're going to wake up our core now. And as you exhale, hover that bottom knee off the mat. You can keep the toes down or lift that knee all the way to your chest, wherever you want to go. You can also drop that back knee down as well. And then release it down, turn the foot out, and inhale into a modified side plank here. You have the option to come up to a full plank if you would like. Reach the arm high to the sky. Inhale, reach the arm over your ear towards the top of the mat. Bend the elbow, open the chest to the sky, release the neck. And then you can stay right here, or if you'd like to take it further, lift the foot, bend the knee, maybe you reach around, grab it, open the chest. Even though you're in a little back bend here, still engage the core to protect your back. Release that foot down long. Plant both hands on the mat. Roll back over. Send the knees out wide. Toes touch. Sit the hips back for child pose. Arms are still out towards the top of your mat. One more inhale through the nose, expand the back of the body with this breath. And then exhale, melt your chest a little bit further towards the mat. Inhale, peel back up into tabletop, stack the hips on top of your knees, shoulders are over your wrist here. And step the right foot back, Press the heel towards the back of the room. And then step that one in and spin the left foot towards the, the back. Spin the heel towards the back of the room. And then when you're ready, mirror what you did on the other side. You can also take it down a notch or kick it up. Spin your weight into, into that uh, back foot. And then exhale, lift the bottom knee up. You can keep those toes on the mat or maybe suck it all the way up towards your chest. Press the mat away. Use your core here. And then turn that right foot out, drop the knee down. Inhale into a modified side plank. Again, you can come into a full side plank if you would like. And then inhale, reach that top arm over your left ear towards the top of your mat. And then exhale, bend the elbow, open the chest up to the sky. And then if you'd like to, lift that left foot up, bend the knee, maybe you take that top arm, reach around, grab your foot, and then with some resistance, open the chest up. Hips are stacked on top of each other. And then release out of that, plant both palms. Spin that right foot back into a high plank and send the hips up and back through downward facing dog. And then with straight legs, as straight as they can be, tiptoe your way all the way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach out. Let's go through one more vinyasa. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank or tabletop. 
Exhale, chaturanga, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And drop the knees down. And sit the hips to the side. And we're going to take a couple of seated postures here. Just to also add some twist into here. Now, you have the option to sit up on a block if you would like to. Sometimes this helps your knees to fall out a little bit more and not have to worry about any tightness and being uncomfortable here. Just crisscross applesauce or sukhasana. Bring your hands to heart in prayer. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, release it. Inhale, reach the arms out wide and up to the sky. Exhale, twist it to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand on the outside of the right knee. Sit up nice and tall, inhale, and then exhale, twist, reaching your chest to the back of the room. Take your gaze to the back. And then drop your chin towards your chest. Slowly take a look back over your left shoulder. And then release out of that. Slowly walk your hands out towards the top in front of you. Maybe relax your elbows down, maybe your forehead down, however far you go this morning. Perfectly fine. Slowly walk your hands back in. And let's twist to the other side, but first let's cross the feet the awkward way, which does not make sense and just does not feel right. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up high to the sky. And exhale, twist to the left. Left hand behind you, right hand on the outside of your left knee. Inhale through the nose, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, reach your chest to the back of the room. Take your gaze to the back. Spine is long. Exhale, drop your chin towards your chest. Slowly take your gaze back over your right shoulder. An extra neck stretch. And then slowly release out of that. And walk your hands out towards the top of the mat. Relax your elbows down, release the neck. And slowly lift it back up. And let's come into reverse tabletop. So let's start out. Sitting on our bottoms, feet are planted. Scoot them out just a little bit, but your heels um, are in line with your sit bones about hip distance apart. Hands are right behind you, fingertips are pointing towards your heels. And then slowly lift your bottom up, coming to a nice flat tabletop as if you're a coffee table in the middle of your living room. And you can drop your neck back as far as it feels okay. Release the jaw, release any tension here. Open the shoulders, the chest. And then exhale, release it down. And come onto your back for bridge pose. Option to take supported bridge. By lifting the hips up, placing a block underneath your low back here. And go ahead and bring your navel towards your spine, tucking the hips under. See if you can connect your spine to the mat if you're all the way on the mat. Inhale, press into the heels, lift the chest towards the sky, lift the heel, the hips up. Press your weight into the heels. 
Make space between your chin and your chest. Couple more breaths here. With each inhale, feel your chest expand. And exhale, release out of that. Remove your block if you have one underneath you. And then bring your knees towards your chest. Grab onto the backs of your thighs. And let's rock back up to a seated posture. But we're going to come into both pose or Navasana. Waking up our core just a little bit more. So your knees can be bent, which is where I'm going to keep them. Or you can straighten your legs. So with them bent here, engage the core. Draw the navel in towards your spine, kind of scooping it out here as much as you can. Point the toes, reach the fingers towards your heels. Shoulders are down and back. And then slowly bring your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your hands around your shin, and maybe with your toes still off the mat, bring your forehead towards your knees, making a ball. And then release the feet down and walk the legs out. Coming into staff pose. Um, um, this one can be kind of uh, not dangerous, but some people will injure themselves pulling their back a little bit too far or their hamstrings. I want you to make sure your knees are soft. You can keep them bent. And um, this will help you out so you're actually getting a stretch here versus pulling here. So exhale, walk your hands out. Fold your chest over your thighs. Walk them as far as they can go. Release the neck down. You can bend the elbows. If you would like to take your peace fingers, grab onto your big toes, bend the elbows, bring them in, and draw your chest a little bit more towards your thighs. Again, soft bend in your knees. And then slowly lift your chest up. Let's take reverse plank here. Plant the palms behind you, toes towards your heels. Legs are out straight. Point the toes. Slowly lift the hips up. Just like our reverse tabletop, except our legs are extended long. Inhale, open the chest. And then exhale, release it down. Walk the feet back in and roll onto your back. And cross the right leg over the left. As if you're sitting down in a chair, your legs are crossed, they're not technically pigeon. Bring the arms out wide into a T and slowly drop the legs over to the left for a supine twist. If this does not feel good, you can come out of this and stack your knees on top of each other. Maybe take your gaze over to the right. Inhale, slowly bring the knees back up to center. And let's switch over to the other side. Cross your left leg on top. And exhale, drop the legs to the right. And take your gaze over to the left. Breathe here. And slowly lift the knees back towards center. And bring your knees towards your chest. Wrap your arms around them. Giving them a good squeeze, a nice hug, maybe rock side to side, massaging out your spine, releasing any extra tension there. Release your jaw, the space between your eyebrows. And then slowly roll over onto one side and press your way up to a seated position. 
Sukhasana, crisscross applesauce. Sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Eyes can be closed or open. Bring your hand in prayer at your forehead, your center of intuition. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide this morning. The light in me honors the light, the love, the beauty, the joy, and peace in each and every one of you. Namaste.